Super Dean here, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. When we left off, uh, we're now in an insane asylum. We're not insane, we're just in an insane asylum. We got injured, and uh, we've got a gammy leg now, and we're trying to escape. Apparently Bradley's alive again. I thought Bradley was dead. So, he's back. We're going to get out. I have no idea where that guard's gone. And as usual, the one time I'm doing something stealthy, the cat decides to go, All right, give me some fuss, Dad. It's been a bit of a long day. What's this? Note to staff. Significant damage, yeah. The green gas leaves Ooh. from here, and it runs through the whole building. This valve controls the pressure. The pressure. Oh, hello. Remember to stack, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Now for the next step. Nice. Ah, oh, typical. A duct. A duct? It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. Okay. We're doing something. Don't know what we're doing, like, but we're doing something. Better pick the lock. Which will be a level of investigation level. Hi. Aha! Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. Yeah, the hardest bloody one to get to. Ooh, we go this way, do we? Oh, stop panicking, we're fine. Get your torch out, we're good. Oh, we're definitely panicking, okay. I guess we don't like starting small spaces. It's fine, just keep going, you're fine. Let's just keep moving. Come on, Mr. Pricey. Mr. Edward. See, look, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. Relax, it's fine. Calm down. This lever must turn on the gas machine. I bet you to get that other... You need to get that other spinny back. Damn it. Can I get my... My lighter out? Hey, I got a lighter. Oh no, I want to take it. Oh, okay. So I need to find another lever. Another switch. Okay. Another... Thingy, whatever this is. And some oil, apparently, as well. I just need to see why I can't knit one of them lamps that are working, to be quite honest. Bit more sense, wouldn't it? Make a working one than having a dead one. Oh! Oh, god damn it, really? Fine, whatever's. Go the other way. Go on off here. Go away. Wow. 
Where do they keep their sleeping pills? Oh, crap, 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 crap. No one's here. Are you there? <gasps> I got one! This <sighs> way. No way. Hide, just stay calm, you're fine. Don't panic, you're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. To get your light up, obviously, that gives you a way to where we are. Right, look, he's got. So, re really, we need to follow him round. Go for the door. You get changing your pattern. <laughs> you were sitting there. No one's there. Something over there. Didn't see anything. You saw nothing. What you go make your mind up where you're going. My new friend's sleeping pills. Scopolamine, morphine, opium, nothing but common drugs. How are we doing medicine wise? We leveled up? How are we not leveled up on medicine yet? Crikey, Mike. Talk to who's our new friend. Should have named him really, but I'm not gonna see him again, so never mind. Hey buddy 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 buddy. I've got what you want. Show me There. And remember, they don't come for free. Don't you worry, you'll have your diversion. Go on now, go hide yourself. The crows! They're everywhere! Make them go! Help! Help! Now. Hey, got you. Man. Oh what? my god. Oh my god. All the levers are activated. Okay. I don't know what that does, to be quite honest. I'm now stuck in this room. What's that? Run! 
God damn it, that was close. Phew! Hey, buddy. You just keep walking. Just keep walking and talking. Get a safe way. This guy again, Christ. Turn all the gas on, I'm guessing. The piping hasn't burst. Not yet, anyway. Have I missed one? What the hell? You're full whack, you're full whack. You're, you're full. Run, man, run! <coughs> oh, it was a diversion. Got to hide before the guard see me. Okay, move, man, move! Who did this? Is somebody here? <coughs> Hell's teeth. Just run, just run, just run, just run, just run, just run, just run. Damn. What's in here? Oh God, what's in here? It's you. that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. Okay. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? Guessing now, not. The no. The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore! The real what? culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, God. <laughs> the one and only. His sister? The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. Well, she's dead. I saw the traces of a revocation ritual in Sarah Hawkins' office. Is it connected to this curse? She tried to correct her mistake, yes. She tried everything. She told me. She told you? Sorry. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. Okay. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. Okay. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! Okay. No, don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it. That's how it finds you. What finds me? Sarah Hawkins' visitor. The Shambler. Sanders, pull yourself together. Yeah. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. What the... Run, man. Why are you looking at the line? Whoa! What 
Help! What the hell's going on? I got, I got it. It's upstairs. In one man, run. Look. This is insane. What killed him? Chase the body? Nope, he catches the body. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> What's the room? Set? Escape? Is that escape from the asylum still? <laughs> oh, goddamn gas. <coughs> keep moving, Tom, keep moving. Tripping. <coughs> the gas. Oh, we got far, didn't we? Oh, my head. Later. We need to move on. Officer Bradley, but you were dead. Hey, in the safe. Damn it! I should have got myself a drink. I'm thirsty. Back to the horses' mansions. The horses. The horses. The Hawkins, man. I got horses. <clears throat> Read it. Pierce woke up in an asylum. Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon. Installed in the ceiling of the Riverside Insta 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 <laughs> Installed in the cellars of the Riverside installation, he met Dr. Colden, a female friend of Bradley who helped him to escape. Wandering through the corridors of this place, when Dr. Fuller reigned supreme, Pierce was able to talk to a man called Francis Sanders before dying in full view of the detective. He accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torments. Pierce finally left the accursed building, accompanied by Bradley and Colden. The complete com the, the com oh my god, can't talk today. The companions in misfortune decide to use the Hawkins as a mansion as a hideout. Oh hello, Squiddy. The hell? Ooh. Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. No, nope, we're not drinking, remember? Drinking forever alters the story, and we don't want to do that. Oh, we've got four points, right. Uh, level four! Right, so let's go for this one. Cool. I'm still not up on the occult or my... How's that sanity doing? Oh, we're still doing good. Oh, we're doing that. Oh no, we, we, shit, we're shaken. How do we get that back then? Sub. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? Thirsty. <laughs> Did I sleep long? The day That's is only starting. It's fine. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you alright? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things... I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Talk to Bradley, talk to Cole, I might run to a lead. Ah, oh, goddammit. You should be dead! God damn it! I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. Whoops. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. 
Mr. Hawkins was buried. Nope, that's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? Possibly. That's possible. Me. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then... Uh... Then what? I... Uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Hmm. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Oh, nice. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. Mm. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. Mm -hmm. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He Ooh, founded the, the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Mm. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes. And as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He Definitely. wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. You should. Do you wish to know anything else? I'm gonna have a button. No, can't do that too. I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He's dead. He knew Sarah Hawkins, and that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. Throwing him like a rag doll. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. Nope. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? Yep. How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis nope. Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. I mean... An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it.
Um... You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. Mm. That seems wise indeed. Very this will well. All affect your destiny. Ah, oh, oh, no! <laughs> Perhaps I'll find we a have link between our destiny. her husband's death ah. and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Mm. It's our destiny! Talk to the Sanders widow. Let Ooh. us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. Okay. Follow me to victory! Outdoor. Anything I can read? Search here? Any? Ooh! Nope, I'm not doing it. Can we play? No, can't play. We are not having a drink, as a two will affect our destiny in the game. This is going to be another loading time. It is another loading time. Hopefully not as long this time. Pierce, Colden, and Bradley decide to team up and solve the Sarah Hawkins case. They have a new trail to follow. Francis Sanders, an art collector and a friend of their of the friend of the painter, who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to this house in order to speak to his widow about the shambler that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I cannot stop yawning. Oh, I'm back to the waiting time. Oh. The how is everyone? Well, good. If you want to skip this bit, like go like sort of 10, 15 seconds ahead, you're more than welcome to. I'll just sit here, talk to. Oh, maybe not 10 seconds. Ooh, maybe like. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Five. Oh, uh, speeding up. Ooh. And no. Damn it! So close. Can I enter madness? I can enter madness. Thank you. It's okay. It's a weird knock. What can I do for you, sir? You look Mrs. weird. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? No. You may. Why would you let him? You don't even know him. However, before we go any further, please oh, know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Ooh, it's always well, that cat well, lady. Look who's here. Meow. You know each other. Our paths yeah. crossed. Briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. Hey, your I business bump into, into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. Mm. It's a small island, detective. My island. Ooh. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. Ooh. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. Sarah Hawkins and he her was obsessed. paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. Mm. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? Oh, do we get a choice? Do we get a choice? You must not feel guilty. He died screaming right before my eyes. I was not only there when it happened. You're taking it quite well. What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. Are we looking? He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. 
of course. <gasps> to fix our destiny. Thank you for your oh, kind words. Destiny. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? Who? And, and right before your eyes. Did you not do anything to help him? Oh. I shall. I share your grief, but I had nothing to do with it. The true culprit is fuller. Mrs. Uh. Sanders, I understand your grief, and I extend my deepest condolences to you. Okay. But I had nothing to do with the death of your husband. I've just arrived on Darkwater. I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. The death of the Hawkins family? You mean it was not an accident? Nope. Oh, this accursed island knows only tragedy after tragedy. You too would be advised to flee it like the plague. No, I would have oh, good. I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Oh, okay. What's Cat doing here? Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler? To use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Okay. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Mm. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It oh. is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Well, thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Did she really care for him, after all? That's her refusal. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. That's a weird looking painting. Oh, what? What are we reconstructing? Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? <gasps> Lovers? Sorry. <laughs> A house of artists. A house of artists. Ha. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? I hate to I wander around and try and find something. Oh, Jesus, hello. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? I'm going to say no. She despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? Because it's her husband's obsession? He didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. Ah! Ooh, what the hell? The Shambler. I need to see it. Whoa, what the hell was that? Oh, we find leveled up medicine. Find level. Hey, level two. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, nope, we can't just go. Okay. Oh, nope. <laughs> Stuff it. Um, out of here. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Oh, where's the phone over? The one, ooh. 
Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Okay. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. Okay. You okay? I can't take it anymore. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. I'll leave you to it. This ain't creepy. Yeah, typically, I would have come deal with you, haven't I? A strange Amerindian pendant. A what? A whale on the card. I could use one of those. Everyone's got sleeping pills, haven't they? Strange. Letter. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting. To finally give it away for nothing. Hmm. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. S something pressed her to give it away, perhaps. Or someone! <gasps> something. Hello? Hey, medical. Would you read this book? Monsters are! The hell? Oh, great. Affected my destiny. Great! Destiny! Oh, we're lagging. Why are we lagging? Uh, we're lagging. We're lagging. Black of all trades. Inspect 50 items. Nice. Ooh, key. Sweet. Beyond reality. Except to read an unholy book. God, I didn't know that was an unholy book. That was not made to be clear. I didn't want to go, whoa, 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 easy, easy, just talk to this one. That's first, twice sorry. you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. Ooh, I've got do a lot it. of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Answers. Another painting by Sarah Hawkins. One connected to the horrors I've discovered on this island. Mm. What a surprise. I'm listening. New business, love. And you, what brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't Ooh. intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network and a means of transport to the mainland. Ooh, a choice okay. that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. I should know about that book now. We get a save point now. Let's say game saved. Cool. So we'll have to end it there for now. So what's going to happen when we see this painting? Are we freaked out a bit as well now? I just want to check my sanity quick. We're still set. We're shaking. We're still doing okay. We need to find a way to. Yeah. Pierce lost some of his sanity. God damn it! Costing him some of his sanity. He consumes Stephen Bills. The nightmares haunt him. Just. Ah, oh, I thought I was doing so well with my sanity. Oh, anyway. Yep, so we'll end it there. I'm losing my sanity. I'm going crazy. I'm guessing that'll have a big effect on the end of the game. Anyway, shall leave it there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Super Dean! Out.